What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Check on the Let's Play, Shining Force 2, The Ancient Ceiling, Part 43. Here we are just outside of Battle 24. We'll go ahead and enter it. Oh, there might, may have been some dialogue, or I would have went into this battle, uh, the previous video, but I wasn't sure if there was going to be any dialogue or not. So we'll go ahead and pull the map up. Oops, not numbers. Map. And you, so you can see kind of how this is, how the cave is designed. Just like the first cave battle that we had to go through, there's a very small hole that you can see what's going on. Nothing down here, but the enemies will move up towards us as we go through here. There is one chest here that has something in it. A, uh, I want to say fairy tier, if, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe that's it uh, for here. So we'll go ahead and start moving. Oh, uh, let me see. I don't believe there's any new... new Enemies. Let me, let me check back around the. Oh, okay, here we go. The Dark Soldier, HP of 35, MP of 17, uh, attack. Oh, it's the magic spell attack, another uh, buff spell. Attack of 63, defense of 46, agility of 34, movement of 4 with a large axe. So we'll, do, we'll have to watch out for him, but I believe there's only one of, of those types of troops around here, so we shouldn't, have, should, shouldn't be too concerned about that. But uh, anyway, so we'll go ahead and start moving everyone this way. We're going to have to be careful because we don't have the same protection that we had in the first cave fight. So I need to move my people around very carefully. And try not to get too overwhelmed by the enemy. We'll have to make sure that uh, Bowie does uh, does attack or kill somehow. I'd like to I'd like to go ahead and get him to level six and try to get everyone else to level. Se uh, le actually, I'd, I'd like to get everyone level seven in this fight. I'm not sure if that'll happen, but I would like to get uh, everyone at least close to level seven, yeah, as close as possible to level seven as I can. Which that shouldn't be too hard to do with with uh, you know Bowie. All he has to do is just attack something. You need to have Sarah attack something as well. May wasn't in the way. I could have had her use Blast, and that would have hopefully allowed her to level up, but you never know in that kind of situation. Like blast is a a wind attack spell, and there's not a whole lot that's actually weak against wind. You know, it's either the, uh, it's either the two well-known uh, elements, Freeze and Blaze, and there's just not a whole lot of, you know, things that are really weak against Blast. I guess everything's pretty much... I guess everything could be. Cons I guess you could really think of, look at it like this. Everything could be. Oh wow! I'm telling you he's attack. I was going to say. I'm telling you he's going to attack again for the same same amount. That ain't too bad. Yeah, it wouldn't have been nice if he would have leveled up off that. I have had characters level up off of counter attacks before, both in this game and in the the first game. But it's actually kind of you know you have to get pretty lucky if if you're going to. Have, have that happen. Let's see. Quick. I doubt he'll be able to kill the skeleton. He should just, just he should just weaken it, and that shall that can either help out Bowie or Rick. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to. I don't really want to focus on too much on one character too much, but this will well actually Bowie will benefit benefit more from it than Rick will because he won't be able to. He won't get 49 off of it like uh, Bowie would be able to. But he would have got more than that, but it'll benefit it'll it will benefit Bowie more to have him attack uh, to have him kill the skeleton. Metaphor, so that should be something that we should see fairly often. Every now and again, you'll see a skeleton drop a medical herb. Every now and again, I should go ahead and give medical herbs that I have to people, but or to, to my two healers. But really, you don't really need to worry about medical herbs at, at this point in the game. They're pretty much useless. So 
Peter could attack. Karna doesn't need to. Well, I guess she could because she's on level 2, but... Sarah could do it. Uh, I don't know. I may have... I'll either have Peter kill... Well, uh, okay. Say, really just depending on whose turn order it, it was. If, it was. if Sarah got to attack first, then I'd have her kill the Dark Sniper. If Peter got there, then Peter would just kill it. Up by two, one, one. Would be nice if our attack would go up, but I guess that's fine. We should get some new stabs for both. Let's see what's her attack at. Her XP. You know, she doesn't need to attack. I'll put her out of the way. Oop, nope. We'll put her over here out of the way. Hopefully, the skeleton won't be able to reach her. He very well may be able to. I hopefully, hopefully, it won't be able to reach. there to draw its attention if necessary. Kind of concerned about Sarah being down there now. Shouldn't be able to shoot through walls, but we, we, I would be able to shoot through walls, so that kind of does help me out as well. Peter, uh, uh, most flying creatures ha have the tendency to dodge, but once Peter becomes promoted, he seems to do it a lot more often than really a, a lot of other types of flying creatures, especially, you know, like flying creatures on the enemy side. You'll usually see them dodge more than your own people will, but, you know, every once in a while you'll, you'll see your people, either whether it be a bird man or Peter or whoever, will dodge. Uh, if they're flying, they'll dodge a lot more often than than uh, than they usually would once you once you promote them. That uh, that kind of helps all of your people, especially early on. They'll do critical attacks more. They'll do heavy attacks more. They'll counter attack a lot more often, and they'll also. So this is XP at seven. Probably should have had him attack some in the last battle, but. Fine, let's see what Chester's at. Chester, 23. I guess I can go ahead and have him equip, uh, not equip, but attack the skeleton. He should, he should be able to kill it, so that's okay. Yeah, just, just with the critical attack, he's only doing 15. Uh, Bowie, what is your XP end up being? 46, oh yeah, he's fine. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and give... That is our Vicarna. 22. I'm going to the Dark Sniper. Hope someone else who needs it can come up behind and deal some damage for. Oh, yeah, you definitely need to. Actually, I think I'll have him attack the skeleton. I may. I think. I think. Rick should be able to kill that skeleton. He may. Or not the skeleton, but. The dark sniper. He may not be able to though. Yeah, he may, yeah, he may not be able to. You know, sadly, if Karna was close by, I'd have her uh, attack it. But sadly, she's not. So I'll probably just have have her attack something up, something else up a little bit higher. 25. Uh, it's tempting. It's very, very tempting, but I don't believe I'll, I'll do that. I'll just come up here and kill Peter. Actually, I think no, Peter doesn't need it, so. Uh, let's see, does May need it? No. What about Bowie? No. I guess Jaha would be the only one who, uh, I guess, could, could use it, but. Not really. What about Rick? Yeah, I guess because he's going to be in the front, I'll go ahead and heal, heal Rick. He does have a lot of defense, so you know he's not going to take a whole lot of damage, but it's still best to... Especially, you know, if there's... If they got such a huge chunk taken out of their health, it's best just to go ahead and uh, have them level up whenever... whenever or not level up, but heal, 
heal whenever possible. Because you don't you don't want to heal and then or uh, if you you'd rather not go through the scenario of wishing you would have healed when you didn't and just go ahead and take the opportunity. Of course, you have to, to conserve your magic, you know, you do have to pay attention to that, but more often than not, it's best to just to go ahead and just just to go ahead and heal, you know, so you don't end up re regretting not healing. And so that should help Peter. He'll, uh, he should be able to kill it unless it, it dodges. You don't, you don't usually see that too often, thankfully. It, an enemy dodging just because one of your people dodged that would that would be kind of kind of unfair you know every time one of your people dodged an, an, an enemy's attack that the enemy would do it the next turn of that of that same character but it, it would be an interesting challenge but I don't think it would just wouldn't be quite right really let's see I should have checked this before moving for so far down I'm concerned about what this lesser demon is going to do. He can either do one of two things. He can either see that Jaha is down far enough and work his way around and work in behind my people, or he can go up and meet my people through this little rock way here. And I've had and I've had that lesser demon do both uh, at different times. There's really no way to tell what it's going to do outside of just, you know, watching it and paying attention again. It's just, you know, the random number generator on how they move and where they move and all that. The best thing that I can suggest is if you don't want the, the lesser demon to move around and try to uh, outflank you, you just want to continue to move up with everybody you have and just hope it doesn't you know, try to come up behind you. If it does, try to send some of your best people to to go after it, but that's really all you can do, to be totally honest. But, uh, yeah, so, you, so that's just one thing, especially with a battle like this, you know, how, where it's all dark, and you don't know, if, if you didn't look at the map before this, you know, that's definitely always a good idea to go ahead and look look out for that kind of stuff and so you can see you can see why I decided to go ahead and heal Rick you know just in case something like that happened and I'll go ahead and heal him again with Sarah this time uh, let me see I don't guess I'll, I'll waste well I hate to waste it Place of the magic, but he can definitely benefit from it, and she can benefit from the XP that, that she'll gain from this as well. I don't think she'll gain a whole lot. Eh, 13 that's not too bad. Uh, it's better than 10, and so certainly a lot better than 9, so that works out. Let's see what his... Probably should have gave him, the, gave him a movement item. Still have that Robin arrow put on him. Uh -huh. Oh, I guess he doesn't actually need to attack anything. He, 74 XP, so just keep him out of the way for now. Peter could attack something. He only got like 34 from the skeleton. He'll attack the dark sniper. There we go. 31, that's not too bad, especially for just wounding a dark sniper. And she can attack the skeleton. I doubt she'll be able to kill it, but she'll definitely weaken it by quite a bit. Ooh, that's not very good. The, the way the counter system works damage-wise, and I, and I haven't mentioned this yet, but I've been meaning to several different times, is it takes... Because most most enemy, uh, most attacks have a 2-3 to three point kind of window where, they, where the, the damage is usually done uh, numbers-wise. So, you know, either... Uh, unless it's just a really... Unless you're really low or the enemy's attack is really low, typically you'll do around, uh, you know, just as, just as an example, say you do 10 points of damage to uh, to an enemy. Well, and not so much in the first game, but in this game, this this applies a lot more. Is you'll see where you'll kind of go in between a two to three points 
kind of win, though, where the amount of damage you do get for square in the first game, it would be a set amount of damage you do every single time. Uh, in this game, it, you know, it's, again, the random number generator. Well, what the, uh, you know, in, in its simplest form, what the counter attack does is it halves the damage that you would normally do to, to an enemy. So, say, if you were doing 10, 10 points of damage to an enemy and you countered attack, and you did a counter attack against him, that you would hurt that enemy by 5. And that's all, and you know, of course that excludes critical damage, critical hits, and heavy attacks, but that's always a, g a good way to, to kind of tell how much damage you're going to do, and do to an enemy if you haven't faced that enemy before, if it gets, gets the chance to attack, attack you before you get to attack it. It's always a great way to figure out how much damage you're going to do to an enemy and uh, how much an enemy can do against you just based off of its counterattack, especially if you've never fought, you know, if, if a character, if a new character has never fought that, that type of an enemy before and you're kind of concerned about its, about how much uh, defense your character has, you know, for example. So, uh, you know, I could, uh, how much that lesser, let me see that, well, I'm kind of concerned where that lesser demon is now. I'm, he can't fly through this black area, I don't believe. I'm not sure what he's doing. He may be able to fly through that black area. I'm not sure. I should send Peter over there and see if he can do that. I need to pay attention to who I'm, who I'm sending to attack. I'm kind of making the same people do it. Gerholt should. Kazen definitely needs to. Rick, I can pull him back. Slade, I can pull him back. Chester, pull him back. And Peter, pull him back. So... I guess I can wound it, but I'd like for either, well, Kazen can attack the skeleton, and he can kill the skeleton, so that'll jump him up more than it would someone else, so I might have, uh, did Bowie need to attack him? No, I think it was Gerhardt he did too, yeah, so I'll probably have, end up having Gerhardt do it, so yeah, you cannot fly through the black, so, not sure exactly what the... what the lesser demon's trying to do. I probably should just send some people down there to attack it. Just to... Yeah, so it's trying to, trying to move around and flank us, sadly. So I think what I'll do is I'll send some people that are kind of stuck in the back and not doing a whole lot. I'll send them back there and see what they can do to it. So I can only heal 37 with heal level 3. Yeah, that's not too bad. Which blast does against him. So he, he doesn't take a whole lot of damage from magic attacks, but you know, blast, uh, like I was saying before, you know, blast is a pretty strong magic attack by itself. I uh, need to be careful. Let's see how much Bowie has. 26? Yeah, we'll send Bowie. There's Chester, you have 50. We'll attack the skeleton. Need to get gear I was gonna say we need to get gear halt pretty soon so I can attack the lesser demon. Hopefully he should be able to kill it. His attack should be high enough. And the defense of the lesser demon is not really what it you know what what you should be concerned about. Oh, I guess I thought he was gonna level up for some reason. Let's see 49. 74, 74, 77, you don't count, 65, 60, 71, 74, 68, okay, so Jaha can kill the skeleton, and that should allow him, to, hopefully, should allow him to jump up to, and drop another metal curve. Alright, he's only getting 31, so the skeletons are kind of running out, uh, running out of usefulness, sadly. Probably should. Well, nah, I won't do that. I'll, I'll wait. As you said, I probably should have him use his magic, but uh, that's probably not a very good idea. I see Elric will move. Now Elric won't be able to do a whole lot, sadly. 
I'm surprised those lesser demons have not used their, their opportunity opportunity to use Blaze Level 4 against me. Or, excuse me, Blaze Level 2. Hey, I guess I'll send Sarah down here. She really doesn't need to move up move up too much. This will hopefully benefit her some. I guess for the cost of magic it wasn't too bad, but I was hoping for a little bit better result. Slade could use it before she could, so. Sadly, this is not a very good leveling fight, to be totally honest, and it's kind of hard to get everyone's XP to go up evenly in this fight because it really. Seemed like the game hesitated long enough for it. Seemed like Peter was going to do a uh, second attack, but sadly, no. Alright, let me see. Well, he can sit behind Bowie. That'll be fine. I wonder if this will kill it. came pretty close, so I can either, I'll probably end up having either Bowie or Elric do it. 60, let me see, can you reach? No, you can't, so I'm gonna set you aside. Bowie's 46, this should hopefully allow him to level up, so we'll go ahead and do this. Gerhalt, you're at 81. You don't need to do anything anymore. Set you, let's leave you there. Slade, you're at 65. We'll uh, have you attack the sniper because he needed to. I'll probably have both. Well, May will kill. We'll end up killing the sniper, so we'll just leave it at that. And Sarah, she can. Heal Bowie, that won't. So I think she, she, has, she can just use heal level 1. That should suffice. Yep, well, good enough anyway. Yeah, so. She's pretty close. She's, she's caught up with everyone else. Kept killing but that enemy definitely helped. Slade before he dies, but he's, uh, I guess he's okay, he's only taking 7 damage. That protect ring on Slade er early on definitely helps out quite a bit. And I guess I'll go ahead and start sending, sending them up. I might have them open the treasure chest. I think you can do this. Uh, I believe you can still do this. Uh, open the treasure chest even after the battle, but it, you know, Slade has the move, the movement to be able to reach up to reach it, and he should have an open spot on him, so that, that's okay. Let me see. Karna could do it, and I guess Chester really is really is the one who needs to do it out of it, out of all of these. Uh, Karna and Chester, I guess I'll have them attack it or, or attack the bishop, and I'll just move Rick aside. He's already leveled up once. Where is that chest at? Okay, it's right there. Yeah, Slade should be able to reach it. Six. six. Uh, hopefully he'll he will heal himself. Hopefully it'll be Chester's turn. Next crap. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I guess why not? I'll just hold her back. Next. Uh, fight the next three enemies, I'll just have her heal. Attack by one, attack by one, that's good, her attack one this time. Sadly, no increases in magic, but she won't get uh, heal level four for, for a little while. And really, uh, there's no, uh, I, would no, I wouldn't use another magic spell other than that, so other than uh, just heal, unless she, uh, you know, until she learns, I believe she can learn Aura, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know there's one more Master Monk we'll get later on in the game that I will be using 
gets good that it, it helps to have three healers, especially towards end game. Yeah, so by the, by the time the turn orders work out, that'll work out in my favor for Slade to be able to reach that. So of course, the, uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but the Dark Dwarf is the it, the boss. So you know, if you, if you kill the Dark Dwarf, it, it is over. So you do need to be careful and pay attention to that. You need to be healed, I guess. No Slade, I believe. I can't reach Slade, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just keep her kind of close, but out of the way at the same time. That's not very good. He's going to take a whole lot of damage. Uh, a bit more than I would would have liked him to, but it's, that's still okay. But the good thing about flying along walls is if I have a flying character, I can do that as well. And hopefully, can level up off this. That's good. Up by two, 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 one. Yeah, that's, that's good. Would have liked it to go up by three, of course, but at least one of those stats to go up by three. But I'll definitely take two across the board, except for agility. But like I said, agility. It's pretty much useless. All that, all that does is affect turn order. Uh, who goes first in the turn order, or who's higher priority in the turn order than other people? So I, and, I, and I really, and I really don't care about that so much. Hopefully, the bishop will heal the dark soldier, and he's not even doing any damage to him. So ten, so he should do a round tornado, you know, a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit less. Really? Does he not have an open space, or he can't, just can't search? Maybe, maybe I'm hitting the wrong, wrong button whenever I do that. I'm not 100% sure, to be totally honest. Uh, can he kill the lesser demon? Wow, he can. But he only earned 13, really? I guess he was almost dead, but that still doesn't excuse the fact that at 13, that's... Someone could have leveled up off of that. So yeah, like I said, it it does have it, ha uh, it does cut it cut it in half. Yeah, we need to keep May out of the way just so she doesn't eat up a, a useful spot. And then I see Peter, you can move down to for Sarah to heal you so she can gain some levels. Let me see Rick. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That should give her some more XP. Hopefully quite a bit because his, his his HP is so low, but I'm not 100 sure. Oh wow, yeah, it's not too bad at all. Yeah, Chester's probably gonna gonna end, going to die, but I kind of expected that sticking him up up quite up so far. But if he would have just leveled up, you know, it would have been so much better. I guess you just can't search in the battle mode anymore. So it does kind of stink, but definitely made the the fight where you got the light sword in the first game a lot easier by being able to search by sending a flying enemy up there to, or a flying friendly to to see how much XP he, he needs. Nine, I'll just pull him back. It's not worth him dying over really. A little bit better. Should be able to hopefully level up off of the Dark Bishop. Both him and Gerholt. Rick, yeah, you don't need to do anything else. You're already 50, you're, you're good for now. Let's see. 89, we'll go ahead and have Sarah heal. Chester just. Sadly, that will run, her, run out her MP, but. That should allow her to level up to should allow her to level up, I think. Yeah, 14. Up by two. Defense up by one. Sadly still no HP gain, but that's okay. Yeah, so May doesn't need to go up there. Still okay. Yeah, that's good. He did the counter, so they gain a little bit of XP. Let's see, 39. She can. Let me see. 
fish you can heal. Well, that's not even worth it. To be totally honest, she'll, she'll get more XP for using magic. Well, I was going to say I should save it from Sarah, but she doesn't have enough MP to do that. Now I can send Chester back up, up to the front. If the turn orders work out, of course. I doubt, I seriously doubt he'll be able to kill the Dark War or the Dark Soldier. It came pretty close. Did, did about 10, that ain't too bad. Honestly, surprised you didn't try to heal the Dark Dwarf, but I keep forgetting that the Dark, that the dark Bishop doesn't have heal level 3. All he has is just Aura. Which, of course, by itself is a pretty bad spell, but... Oh, I don't know. He'll, he should be able to level up off of just attacking the Dark Bishop, but... Yeah, comfortably. So, up by 2, 2, and 1. So that's, that's pretty good. Would love to get Bowie up there to... To, to deliver the final blow, but I'm not sure if I'd be able to. Actually, he doesn't really need it. Chester may be able to, 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 to do that. And it's 85. Nah, Kazen needs to be the one to do it, but I don't think he, he'll, he'll be able to reach in time. Well. Oh, well. I'm not even sure. If Ch as I said, I'm not even sure if Chester will be able to kill it or not. So he still may have a chance to do that. Uh, let's see, 95 or 98. Yeah. Well, I'm not even sure if he'll be able to kill the Dark Bishop. To be totally honest. Oh yeah. No, with a critical hit, but only just, just barely. So that all sum up. Seven, two, one, two, two. So, sadly, Luke's. Or uh, Jaha's attack doesn't doesn't necessarily go up all the time, but his defense will, and so he's a very good tank if you want to make him that. Just out of the way of Kazen, I don't want to block his path. Let's see, she has a medical herb. I'll go ahead and use it on Slade. Hopefully, see how much XP she gets. I don't think she'll get. She should just get one. To be totally honest. No, I didn't do bad. Ten. Oh, that's right up. Uh, People, <sighs> Elric kind of needs to do it. Somebody's attack is 58. Take the ring away, that's 54. 52, give him the ring, that's 56. back and hopefully he doesn't kill the Dark Lord doesn't kill anybody and hope Kazen can reach him in time. Let's see if she'll heal Peter. That's good. Almost ready to level up again. Be totally honest. Let's see seven. We'll pull him back so he doesn't die. And hope. Yes, he can. So we'll use Apollo just to make sure that it works. Of course, Dow will be able to work just as easily, but I'm not make sure it, that it actually works. So it does 25 against the Dark Soldier. There, that helps him out a little bit. He's kind of closed the gap a little bit, but oh, I need to go ahead and. Get, what, get the item that's in here. And found a fairy tier. I believe a fairy tier is used for refilling magic in a battle. So uh, that's, you know, obviously that's very useful. Especially for a healer or a mage, either, you know, whichever one you wanted to use it for. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I thank you for watching. Next time we'll leave the cave and enter North Parmesia. So until then, let everyone.